Okay, so we have um, this map where we can see the political indication of the states. In red is going which going in favor. Okay, start again. Think what you're going to say. So we have this map which is indicated with different colors about which is the political indication, the political mm, inclination. In red, it goes through, goes for Trump. In blue, goes for Hillary Clinton. As we can see, almost all the north, central north, goes to Clinton, to Trump, and the coast goes to Hillary. Um, in terms of bigger size, it really seems that Trump has more favorites or more bigger space than Hillary. But in some of these coastal states, there's more population than in some of these internal states. Okay. Now, so it's a very big area, mm -hmm. but here is a very dense population. What is the difference between the coastal states and, apart from South Carolina, basically all of them are either swing states mm -hmm. or voting for Clinton, no? Mm -hmm. And all of the internal states, uh, mm -hmm. almost all of them, are voting okay. Donald Trump. Why do you think that is? Because it's a cultural difference. 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 Schwa. Defense. No. Defense. That's it. So in the cause, it's more cultural, more cultivated people. Cultivated. What does cultivate mean in English? Culture? Culture? No. Cultivate is for tomatoes. Really? Yes. You culture. cultivate tomatoes, but you are, as Cu a person, culture. cultured. Culture not cultivated. Okay. If you're cultivated, that means I'm going to make you grow okay. leaves. <laughs> okay. So there are more cultivated, uh, culture, culture people, and in the center is more agriculture, less culture people. Uh, more cultivation and less mm. culture, no? Yeah. Yes, more cultivation, less culture, that's true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And why do they people you say have less culture want to vote for Donald Trump. Why does he appeal to these people? Probably support him more. I, I don't have clue, eh? any clue. But uh, probably support him more the, the countryside, giving them more it's easy to, to, to take them, let's say, to lie to them. But they believe more easy policies because they are not so don't have so much culture, and then probably they are supporting much more the things that are important for them: the country, the ground. Do you think the, so? I, I don't know. Maybe it's because they don't like Mexicans, they don't like Arabs. Maybe. Be Maybe but because they're not so intelligent that they believe Donald Trump when he tells them things. But they are by everywhere. What, the, 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 the Mexicans? Mm -hmm. If you go to New York, you can be speaking Spanish with all the service. It is true that it's surprising that te Texas is mildly Trumpist because there's a lot of Mexicans in, in Texas. But maybe all the Mexicans are voting for Clinton and maybe all the white people, they hate the Mexicans, so maybe they vote for Trump. Probably in the central Wyoming, uh, these states up here in the middle, was Idaho, maybe it's very white. And maybe the white people, they don't like Mexicans. Mm -hmm. But it is a surprising, but it's always a, a, a cultural difference in America between mm -hmm between the coastal states and the central states. So what this is saying is that there's always going to be places that vote Republican, even if it's a mad guy like Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. But there are certain places that are between the two. Mm -hmm. 
the grey one, so that if Hillary can win these, then maybe this, the, the mad, evil, woman-hating guy will not be president. Mm -hmm. Who do you think will be president next week? I think Hillary. You think so? Yeah. Why do you think Hillary is better? It's too aggressive. The, the policy of, of, Clinton, of, of Trump, Donald Trump, and he doesn't explain what he wants to do. He wants to get there, but I'm not sure he knows what he's doing. What's his experience in politics? Hmm? What is his experience in politics? Sure. That he's a successful businessman. And? Do you think it's good to have somebody who knows how to run a business running the country? I don't know. I mean, I prefer a businessman that, um, than an than, um, actor, for example. Like Ronald Reagan or Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, exactly. At least it's a progress. But um, you need to, to be able and to show the coordination. For me, I mean, I haven't heard a lot, but uh, Donald Trump, he doesn't explain anything. He just got to what he wants to get, of course. I also want to have a better country, but doesn't say how to arrive there. I'm missing a little bit of transparency and the, the strategy behind. Strategy. Yes. Your, your, your schwa's and your pronunciation in general is better when you choose your own words and you say what you want mm -hmm. than when you're reading. Mm -hmm. When you're reading, it's much worse okay. than when you're speaking. We need to do more reading, okay. because the speaking, you're getting the schwa's like businessman, you know, all of these things, you're getting the schwa's nice. Oh, let me show you how so when you're reading, we get fuck up, fuck ups. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to have a